Porsche is clearly not slowing down its move toward electrification. With the new 2026 Porsche Cayenne Electric, the brand is taking one of its most important nameplates and pushing it deep into electric performance territory. This is not just another electric sport utility vehicle added to the lineup. It is the most powerful production Porsche ever built, and it is aimed directly at drivers who want brutal acceleration without giving up daily comfort or the familiar Porsche character. The Cayenne Electric will launch in two versions. There is the standard Cayenne Electric and the Cayenne Turbo Electric. Both use a dual electric motor setup, which means all wheel drive is standard. In everyday driving, the standard Cayenne Electric delivers 402 horsepower. Press the button for launch control and output jumps to 435 horsepower and 615 pound-feet of torque. That is a serious amount of shove for what is still the regular version of the electric Cayenne and it should feel effortlessly quick in city traffic, on the highway, and on twisty back roads. For drivers who always tick the top box on the options list, the Cayenne Turbo Electric is where things get wild. In normal driving, the Turbo Electric delivers 844 horsepower. Activate launch control, and it unleashes a staggering 1,139 horsepower and 1,106 pound-feet of torque. Porsche says the 0 to 60 miles per hour run takes just about 2.4 seconds and the quarter mile can be covered in about 9.9 .9 seconds. Those numbers put this family size sport utility vehicle into supercar territory. If you roll up to the local drag strip in one of these, you might actually get warned that you are entering the zone where a roll cage starts to make sense. Stopping power and control are just as important as straight line speed. Porsche claims the Cayenne Electric can recover energy through regenerative braking at up to 600 kilowatts. The company says that nearly 97% of all braking can be handled by the electric motors alone. That should significantly extend the life of your brake pads while also feeding energy back into the battery. For those who want the ultimate Porsche spec sheet and track-ready confidence, the Cayenne Turbo Electric can be fitted with optional Porsche ceramic composite brakes. Underneath, Porsche has loaded the Cayenne Electric with chassis technology to keep the driving experience sharp and familiar. Porsche Active Suspension Management comes standard on both models, continually adjusting damping to balance comfort and control. Turbo models also gain Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus, which helps the sport utility vehicle rotate more eagerly in corners by actively managing power across the rear axle. On top of that, both versions can be ordered with rear axle steering for better low-speed maneuverability and high-speed stability, as well as Porsche Active Ride. Porsche Active Ride is already used on the Taycan and Panamera, and it is one of those features that really shows the human touch in how the brand tunes its cars. Instead of letting the body pitch forward under braking, lean back under acceleration, or flop side to side in corners, Active Ride works to counter those movements. The result is a Cayenne that should feel flatter, calmer, and more controlled even when you are driving quickly while still staying comfortable for passengers who just want a smooth ride home. Powering all of this is a 113.0 kilowatt hour battery pack paired with an 800 volt electrical architecture. On a suitable fast charger, the Cayenne Electric can charge at speeds up to 400 kilowatts. Porsche says that in ideal conditions, you can go from a 10% state of charge to 80% in as little as 16 minutes. Official range figures for the United States are not yet detailed but Porsche quotes up to 400 miles on the more generous European Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicles Test Procedure Cycle. Real-world range will likely be lower, but it still signals that the Cayenne Electric is designed to go far as well as fast. One of the more intriguing options is the wireless charging system. Instead of plugging in, you simply park the Cayenne Electric over a floor plate and the vehicle charges at up to 11 kilowatts. It is the kind of technology that feels a little futuristic and raises all sorts of questions about how the charging field behaves, 
but for owners, it could make topping up the battery as simple as pulling into a garage or driveway in the right spot. Visually, the Cayenne Electric leans closer to the design language of the Maycan than the existing combustion-powered Cayenne. The rear end is more rounded, the nose looks softer, and from some angles, it almost feels like someone sketched a Porsche Sport Utility vehicle from memory. The profile and rear three-quarter views blend in more with other electric sport utility vehicles on the road, but there are still enough Porsche cues in the lighting, stance, and details to make it recognizable to fans of the brand. Inside, the Cayenne Electric looks and feels much more like the Porsche most people expect. The seating position, the steering wheel, and the view over the hood all seem thoughtfully tuned. There's a lot of screen area, but the layout appears driver-focused rather than overwhelming. The instrument cluster is a 14.3-inch organic light emitting diode display, and the center stack uses a curved organic light emitting diode panel that combines infotainment and heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. 14.9 inch passenger display allows the person riding shotgun to interact with media and navigation without distracting the driver. Porsche says key functions like air conditioning and audio volume still have physical controls, which is a relief for anyone who is tired of digging through menus just to adjust the temperature. The 2026 Porsche Cayenne Electric is expected to arrive at dealerships toward the end of the summer of 2026 and orders are already open. The standard Cayenne Electric starts at $111,350. If you want the most powerful production Porsche ever made, the Cayenne Turbo Electric starts at $165,350. No matter which one you choose, you're getting a clear look at how Porsche sees the future of its performance sport utility vehicles.